Hi folks, it's Keith Beardsley back with another edition of the ATORI01 blog. And in this case, it's probably going to be more of a vlog or video edition of the blog. So what are we going to look at today? Well, I'm calling today Jolly's Follies. Uh, looking at Melanie Jolly and the total mess she made of answering questions around whether or not a Canadian diplomat should have gone to a Russian party celebrating Russia Day when we're at the same time accusing Russia of genocide in the Ukraine. Interesting that the minister had no damn clue what was going on, and that in itself is unbelievable. Now, we've heard various additions of answers as probably PMO tries to get control of this and tries to get you know, the minister out of the hot water that she's jumped into. First off, it was, department said it was okay. Then it was, I didn't know. And that tends to be the line they're following now is that the minister was unaware. So the minister was unaware of a major incident. Now, for those of you who ever have worked at foreign affairs, external affairs, global affairs, whatever you want to call it, we all know how the system works. Number one, you don't get an email if you're a staffer, if, uh, whether it's a chief of staff or a I know, special assistant, whatever you want to call yourself, you don't get an email from the desk officer. Departments don't like you talking to their people, not one-on-one. -on -one. And actually, we used to do this at one point. I used to drop down as a chief of staff into the departments just to talk to people and then time to see how fast it was before the deputy minister or someone else sent me a message to say, oh, it's really urgent to get back. We have to talk to you. Departments don't like you talking to the junior people because they're the ones who actually know what's going on. So if you're a political staffer, chief of staff, special assistant, or even a minister, your email comes from somebody at the ADM level or probably the deputy minister themselves. So that's not an email that you ignore. So that one's come in on your phone. And you know, you can get dozens and dozens of emails if you're a staffer. If you've got one from them, you read the darn thing because you know that there's a reason they've sent it. And in this case, it was obviously a very sensitive reason why they sent it. So the fact that the minister didn't know, the fact that her staff apparently didn't know, and the latest version I heard was the staff missed the email that came in. Come on, folks, your political staff, that's your job. Your job is to protect your minister. Your job is to keep your minister informed with the best information possible. So if you've fallen down on both accounts, somebody's head should roll. Will it? Probably not. Not with this government and not with this minister. For some reason, they seem to reward incompetence. Just look around at the other ministers in trouble as I make this particular vlog or blog today. So Jolly's Follies, yep. And then there'll probably be more of them. She's not the most competent minister out there. Keith Beardsley. A Tory 01. Have a great day.